Hello and welcome to the first video of our WordPress beginner to advanced course where our goal is to become job ready to provide freelance services as a WordPress and Elementor page builder expert. So throughout this course, we are going to cover and learn about the WordPress from the basic. Step by step, we are going to learn about the advanced skills. And after completing learning WordPress, we are going to start learning Elementor, which is really easy so that we'll be able to create full functional, beautiful websites for our clients without writing a single line of code. So without further ado, let me give you an overview what we are going to learn from this specific video, which is the very first video of our freelancing with WordPress and Elementor beginner to professional journey. So here, as you can see, I have got these points. Oh yeah, I'm going to talk about the overview of WordPress and I'm going to give you some context on other CMS available on the market. And then I'm going to talk about demand of WordPress on freelance marketplaces, going to show you some real examples directly from the marketplace. Then I'm going to talk about the difference between WordPress.org, which is self-hosted, and the difference with the uh, WordPress.com, the free uh, WordPress managed site. And then we are going to talk about if you need to learn any coding to get started and provide WordPress based services on freelance marketplaces. And finally, I'm going to talk about the support group. So if you are going to follow me, watch the videos and learn, then you are going to find access to my private Facebook group completely free, obviously. And then you can ask me any question if you need any specific help regarding to WordPress and Elementor. So here we go. First of all, let me start from the overview of WordPress and other CMS. So what is WordPress and why it is more popular than other CMS? So WordPress is a very beginner friendly, flexible and easy to use content management system. And WordPress is this easy, like if a beginner watches few video tutorials and if they try to create a website, they will be able to use WordPress to create beautiful website or blog site for themselves. And for its easy to access, easy to use functionalities, people are loving WordPress than any other content management system. So if I want to show you some other CMSs available uh, out there, so let me just click here, just take a look. We have got WordPress, Drupal, Zoomla, Magento, Shopify, Wix, and many more content management systems available here. And each one of these CMS has their own specialty. So now if I want to give you some brief about a CMS, let's say, let me take you here. As you can see, I'm visiting the WaltDisney.com website. And as you are seeing here, the header section where we have got this menu bar with these menu items, we have got this logo, we have a, got a background image and all the contents available on this page. If I want to show you in inspect mode, just take a look. These are written with long codes, long codes available here, but please don't worry. These were just written by some other uh, developers, but WordPress has made it easy for us to create and operate websites using their content management system. So basically we'll be able to use pre-built templates, pre-built themes, plugins to create and optimize a website so easily. So what content management system does here, as you can see this website where you have got the, all these information, some developer has, developer has written these uh, contents and then they are using WordPress CMS to maintain this website properly. And if I want to show you some other popular websites here, as you can see Sony Music, which is powered by WordPress, this BBC America, this website also powered by WordPress. If we just notice MTV News, this website is powered by WordPress. And if I want to show you a statistic from here, let's say WordPress website or WordPress CMS usage statistics, usage uh, statistics, I'm going to hit enter here. And if you just notice, WordPress now powers 39.5% of websites from all around the world. Just imagine, it was uh, 35% uh, back in 2020, but in 2021, 
it is powering 39.5% so the ratio is increasing just imagine it was popular it is popular and in future it is going to become more popular than any other content management system so you are going to have lots of jobs so i'm going to go with this uh, question now demand of wordpress on freelance marketplaces so here if i take you to my upwork profile and let's say fiverr as well if i make a search here for wordpress and hit enter you are going to find all the active jobs available on upwork as of now as you can see 11910 jobs available for wordpress as you can see everda wordpress landing page design and for this basic task you are getting 22 sorry 200 budget here rebuild my entire site on oxygen this is another builder as we are going to learn about uh, elementor but oxygen in oxygen is another builder and then we have got many many job posts here wordpress design and just imagine the number or actually just check out the number 11910 if i want to take you to fiber and if i made a search here for wordpress and if I select this service here, you are going to find 85,970 gigs available on Fiverr alone. People are making money by providing WordPress based services. If I open few of the gigs from here, let me just open few of these gigs and let me show you. Just take a look, 1K plus reviews here. So five orders in Kiwi. This person is currently working with five different clients. This person is working with five different clients. This person is working with three different clients. And this one doesn't have a job as of now, but it's totally fine. And I was been able to show you the demand here. And if you just roam around and if you spend few more minutes, you are going to find many more big personal. Wow, just take a look. 29 orders in Kiwi. This person is currently working with 29 different projects from his fiber gig just imagine the demand here on freelance marketplaces so please don't worry about the demand even i myself is providing wordpress based website design elementary based website design services on upwork and fiber and i am generating money right as a freelancer so now let's go for the next question which is the difference between wordpress.org which is self-hosted and wordpress.com which is wordpress hosted so let me just show you the difference here actually explain so wordpress.org is a self-hosted platform we are going to host our website using wordpress but all the contents all the systems everything is going to be owned by us like we can use whatever plugin we want to use we can use custom templates we can use custom plugins we can use custom functionalities as we want we can make whatever we want in our website so this is the feature of um, self-hosted websites and on self-hosted website you will be able to find thousands of themes as you can see here let me just show you free themes available 3911 here we have got these popular themes latest themes you are going to find thousands just take a look 8039 themes available which most of the themes you can use completely free on your wordpress sites and then we have got these plugins to generate functionalities each one of these plugins has functionalities like rank Mate helps you uh, with seo works and then we have got many other as you can see classic editor akismat spam production bb press jetpack gotenberg many many more plugins you are going to find to generate if i just click here you are going to find thousands of plugins hundreds of plugins to use to build some more custom functionalities on your self-hosted WordPress website. And you'll, you'll get many more other features as well, which you can do with your self-hosted WordPress website. But in WordPress.com, this is managed by WordPress. You are hosting your website directly on WordPress and it has got some uh, like limitations. So if I just want to show you some uh, features and uh, functionalities from his, their pricing and plans page as you can see with personal page their monthly charge is four us dollars per month and you won't get all of these functionalities which you can do with your um 
self-hosted WordPress website pretty easily. And then we have got this function, just take a look, we, we don't have access to this. Even with this 25 very costly um, package, you don't have access to these features. And even with this e-commerce, just take a look, if you want to run an e-commerce store, you have to pay them 45 US dollars, which is too costly comparing to your self-hosting or self-hosted websites. And you might going to face some difficulties, face some limitations on using your own custom designs, own custom templates, own custom plugins as well. I'm not sure though, but you have no limitations here on your self-hosted website. And now let me just give you some example when it comes to hosting, let me give you some example or some brief information of what is hosting and what is domain here, which we are going to learn more in our coming videos for sure. So let's say this page, as you can see the waltdisneycompany.com, this is a domain name or the address of this website and all the contents, as you can see this logo, menu bar, this image, this post, all the contents are placed in the hosting, right? So we are going to learn more about domain name and hosting things in our coming videos as this is a part of our course. So please don't worry. And if you just notice the New York Times, this one is hosted on what, uh, powered by WordPress. This uh, website, MTV News, this one is also powered by WordPress. This BBC America website, powered by WordPress, WordPress, Sony Music, this one is also powered by WordPress. And there are thousands of other popular websites which are powered by WordPress. So this is how popular this uh, platform is. And I have just shown the demand in the marketplace as well. So let me just take you back here. So our fourth question, do you need coding skills to get started as a WordPress uh, service provider? And my answer is no, absolutely not. You don't have to uh, learn codings to get started. But if you, can learn HTML, CSS, JavaScript and PHP only in a basic phase, still you will be able to increase the possibility of the jobs you could do, right? So even I have got only HTML, CSS skills and I have got very few or let's say I'm a starter in JavaScript but still I'm being able to provide freelance services to my clients through Upwork, right? So now the clear answer is no, you don't have to have any um, coding skills to get started and provide uh, freelance services as a WordPress and Elementor specialist. Now let's talk about our Facebook support group. So as I am going to make this course a complete one and I'm going to make you job ready to start providing freelance services with WordPress and Elementor on Upwork, Fiverr or on any other freelance marketplaces. So I have got a support group for this specific reason. And here is the support group. If you are going to follow me step by step throughout the course and if you are ready to watch the videos, ready to practice on your uh, demo works which I might going to provide you, then I'd request you to join. Other than that, please don't join in the group. If you are ready to learn properly, if you are ready to work on the practice works, then send me a join request. I'm going to add this group link into the description field below so that you'll be able to join here and you can ask me whatever question you have got regarding to WordPress and Elementor. If I know the answer, it would be my pleasure to help you with the solution or with the answer. So this was it for the video. Uh, and if I just give a recap of the video here, we learned, uh, we, we knew the overview of WordPress, what is WordPress, how CMS works. We learned about the demand of WordPress based uh, works available on freelance marketplaces. We learned about the difference between WordPress.org which is self-hosted website and the difference between WordPress hosted websites. And then we learned or actually we knew if we need any coding skill to get started and provide freelance services at WordPress and uh, Elementor based services. And finally, we talked about our uh, dedicated Facebook group. I want to see you in the group and I want to help you learn and grow with me step by step from the very beginning. So thank you so much for watching this long and I hope to see you in the next videos. Thank you once again.